This is CJ, and I'm recording in the Village Gate Cafe. I have Rex Goldsmith. Good morning. And which fishmonger are you from? The Chelsea Fishmonger. Okay, and the... I have Ian from... Loughton. KC Fisheries. KC Fisheries. And you have Bob Thompson from Thompson's Seafoods of Tottenham. I've got three in one. Okay, so gentlemen, what I would like to know is what made you go into the profession? What, what started you off as a fishmonger? Uh, an, an enthusiastic passion for anything to do with fish. Okay, and what was the first fish you got into? Trout. Okay, Ian, what about you? The reason I went, because I couldn't get a job in the butcher's shop. Oh, really? <laughs> right, okay. And the first fish I gutted would have been a mackerel, I should think, yes. Okay. And what about you? Well, I went to work in a greengrocer's, but they wouldn't want me. So I went, worked in a fish and chip shop, peeling the potatoes, and then become a fishmonger after that. Fantastic. Right, gentlemen, how long have you been in the trade? 1978. Ian, what about you? I started as a schoolboy. 39 years ago. 1967 was the first time I worked in a fish shop. Okay. Um, education. Did you complete education or were you thrown out at 10? No, no. At uh, 16, I was in sixth form. I wasn't expelled, but I was asked to do something different with my daytime. The year head said, Rex, we're not expelling you, but it's 10 to 12 and we want you off the school premises by 12. Oh, really? Yes. And that was it? Yes. Okay, Ian, what about you? I finished when I was 16 after GCSEs. Okay. I left school at 15 and then started in, in the fish line. Then went on to work in the fishing trawlers at Lowestock. Excellent. Right, I'm going to stop that. Okay, so Rex, can you tell me um, what... What the question was there. Are you talking about training modules? Uh, well, yes. What I'd like to know is, um, yes, training modules. So what, what do you think you should have included if it's a training module? It's all about training modules. You, but just remember, you can't teach passion and enthusiasm and being able to talk to people. Any knife work you can teach. Okay, but that's, that's really a tiniest little bit. And what do you think is the most important part of, um, you know, of your business? Lunch well, time. it's it's uh, stop it. it's, it's having it's right? having nice fish, yeah. presenting it well, and being able to talk to people, and of course having a having a good good customers. Yeah. Okay, Ian. What about you? Get out of jail like that. What was the question? Uh, fish. Yeah. What do you think you need as a part of a fish? You know, if you're doing fish training, uh, what things do you think you'd actually have as part of a module? If you know you, because I've asked, asked you how you learned, and you're you need, all saying to me that you as, learned. As Rex just said, you need a good customer relations yeah. policy in place. Um, what else would you need? Yeah, you need obviously knife skills that, that uh, can be taught far easier than customer relations. Yeah, I mean, you just an all round basic skill and love of the trade, really. And what do you think? Uh, so, Bob, can you tell me the same thing? What do you think? Yeah, I think you really need dedication to the job because if you don't do the job properly, you, you're not going to get the results. You've also got uh, incredibly long hours. Uh, yes, so and, make sure, you, and make, oh, sure, make sure you turn the alarm on to get up in the morning because you can't do the job without okay. getting up in the morning. So you've got to have a real liking for people, actually, so it's yeah. not going to work. Yeah, no, you have to be a people person. Yeah, okay. You have to be a people. But if I was going to employ, if I was going to employ someone, I would rather have someone with no experience at all, an absolute blank canvas, because they might have picked up bad habits or whatever. You know? Right, okay. And every, because that's why I always said, you, I don't think there will ever be a successful generic fishmonger's apprenticeship scheme. Any shops that are still surviving now are so unique that it's all geared around their shop. So if someone would have come to me, I would say, right, forget everything you ever learned, this is how we do it. I'm sure these gents would be similar. And it's all going to be based on your customers then? Yeah, yeah. My, yeah. Cu yeah my customer is based in more Caribbean, so mine's completely different to Rick. But you have to adapt yourself to the same system as being friendly with your customers and doing the job as best you, as you can. Okay. Oh. I don't even know what it is. Oh, what's well, the exotics? Yeah. yeah. Well, that's the word exotics, isn't it? I, yeah. Always found that a strange word, but yeah. Uh, yeah, exotics. Warm makes water stuff, stuff has yeah, come a long way. Yeah, no, absolutely. More Eastern European fish. Yeah. Okay. Than 